So we haven't spoken in a while, and then the last time I saw you, you were the Junior Tour Powered by Under Armour 2023 World Champion in your age division. Did you expect to win? Not at all, honestly. I was, uh, I went in with great confidence. I wanted to get in the top five. That was the goal. And I just wanted to do the very best I could. How did it feel walking off the the 18th hole and you won? You're the champion, you're the world champion, and you look over at mom and dad. Uh, I jumped into my dad's arms, if I can be honest with you. It was amazing. I mean, to watch what she's gone through, as far as all her practice and effort, to see that, because I know she had really penciled that on the calendar as a big tournament for her. That's what she had been striving for, and actually see her perform and then do it, especially at dark, <laughs> the way it finished, was absolutely incredible. So um, credit all goes to her and her coach for all the work that she does, but uh, to have that, that's a memory that'll last forever. When Maya won Worlds, it was it was extremely special. It was uh, actually, it was very emotional for me. It's really neat to see somebody that you've taught since from the very, very beginning grow into this golfer that they are and then win by four strokes over some of the best players in the world um, at that level. It was it was it was absolutely uh, very emotional for me and her family. I'm not gonna say I cried, I may have cried a little bit. I was overwhelmed with excitement. I mean nothing like that ever happened to me. I was never I never had won something so big and I just I was so proud in that moment and I knew that my mom and my dad were happy. I'm just so proud proud of her. Yeah, what are you most proud of? The young lady she's become. I wouldn't have had the confidence and the courage to be able to play like I did for the UA world if I didn't have my mom by my side. She was the person that helped me gain all that courage and just told myself just go for it and do the best you can. And I feel like everybody needs a person like that in their life, and so I'm glad it's my mom. I am proud of who she is. I'm, I'm so proud of who she is becoming. And, you know, I so often think of my father, who passed, and Darren's dad, who passed uh, four days before four Maya days, was born. Four days before Maya was born. And they were both golfers, and how much they would be so proud of her. And, uh, I'm just proud of who she's becoming. I'm just proud of her. My mom is great at giving inspirational talks, great morning conversations, and I really appreciate that because that helped me get towards my goal of winning. Was that your Oscar moment? I believe so, yeah. It, um, my confidence after that definitely grew, but it was, it was proof that what I had been working for was worth it. It was showed that after all the hard work, after all the losses, and all the damaging heartbreaks that I went through, it just showed that I succeeded. Do you have a moment on the golf course that you look back on and that is like your, your happiest moment? The moments that really matter to me are the moments where I hit the shot. And I, I know it's a good shot when I turn around and I see my dad smiling. He's like, yes. <laughs> and that's like, that's the goal that I always look for. I always look for that smile on my parents' faces. I want them to I want them to see that I'm trying my very best. She's very good from four feet and in under pressure. What we tend to lack a little bit is on our distance control. So that's what some she's really worked hard on. But again, golf is so unique because when you play multiple different courses, multiple different green speeds. I would never have gotten to the point where I've been if I didn't have my dad by my side telling me you have to go practice, you have to go practice. So you've got a team around you. You've got the great two thirds, mom and dad. Where does coach fit in? Well, my coach is like my older brother, in my opinion. He's the one that was always, he's the one that can make me laugh if I'm having a bad time, but he's also tells me what I did wrong and when I should have done better. But he's also not afraid to say, hey, that was a good shot. He's the one that had fully encouraged me to keep doing what I'm doing because he knows how to have fun, but also stay focused and have the same perspective. When she first started playing golf, <clears throat> Maya was, uh, I would say slightly intimidated. I saw the trend in golf going more towards hitting the golf ball further. So I, I looked at Darren and Natalie, her parents. I said, so this is gonna be a journey. Um, let's hop on the train together. We're gonna, we're gonna develop a golf swing that's gonna be consistent for her in the long run. Maybe not, it might not work right away, but we're gonna, we're gonna develop a way for her to hit the ball 
uh, very far, which will give her an advantage as she moves forward. We see a lot of pictures of you and your coach, and it looks like you guys have a lot of fun. Do you think that fun is that, that key ingredient between you guys? I think so, yeah. It's the personalities. We have the same personality. It's awesome. It's He's always, ever since I was little, he's always added in games, he's always had fun, and he never bored me when playing golf, which I think helped a lot as I grew older, is he always had a game. He always had fun, like he always had something for me to do, and he was never afraid to say, you need to take a break, you have to take a break. He never pushed me too much to the point where I wanted to quit, which was very helpful. When did you start playing golf? I started playing golf when I was about seven. The first time I picked up a golf club when I was six, and the very first tournament was when I was about 10. How did you do on your very first tournament? It was rough. Were you aware that at your first tournament that she's kind of behind compared to some of the other golfers? Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. The sooner you get into it, the sooner you start competing, the more comfortable you get with competition. I struggled with it. I knew no how problem. far behind, yeah. I knew how far behind uh, she was compared to these other kids. And so you had tried getting her in a uh, drive, drive chip and putt. putt and I said no I die I was nervous because you know the kids were all so ahead of her and um, I don't think we did it that year but the following year we did and she did very well 10 years old and as you know a lot of the kids that we've talked to they pretty much started walking and had a golf <laughs> yeah. club in their hands so you kind of started later how do you mm -hmm. think that's helped you I just realized that if you work hard at it you don't you'll get everything that you work for. I mean, if you work hard enough, you will get it eventually. You don't have to start at very young. You don't have to do what everybody else did. You have to do what you do, and then when you do it, you do the best you can. Earlier on in your young, your young life, you were more in theater. Yes. Do you think that that's kind of helped you with your goal? As a theater girl, when I was younger, I was able to step into the person that I never thought I could become. I was able to become this different personality, this different person who had a different background. And I think that helped me a lot when I started playing golf. I was able to try and imagine myself being this different person, someone who had been playing since they were three. And just imagining that throughout my head helped me a lot as I grew up. And it helped me realize that even if I started at age three or age 10, I was able to get to the point where these kids were today. Do you remember the moment where you went from going all about theater to all about golf? My dad gave me an option. He's like, do you want to do dance or would you like to play golf? And I will say it was a very hard decision. I loved golf with my whole life. But I realized that, you know, it was worth it. I fell in love with golf for a reason and I didn't want to just give up a love for golf that I was going to lose. I wanted to be able to push forward with it. That is the highlight of my day or a week when I get to watch, you know, be the daddy caddy. Although those days are coming to an end as she gets older, but uh, there's nothing like watching, uh, watching her play. You go to a school specifically focused on golf. You go to IMG. Tell me a little bit about the schedule, how rigid it all is. So I wake up around 5 a.m. to be able to get ready. There are moments where I go to the gym. Then we go to leave for school and school starts around 7.40, then it goes to 11.20. So it's only about three hours of schoolwork. Then we have golf from about 1.15 to 4, and then we have workout from 4.30 to 5.30. So it is a very busy schedule to keep up, and I normally get home around 7. How was that decision to send her to IMG, and you see all the, the hard work and effort that she's putting into that? We saved up, and she went to camp at IMG, and she obviously did well enough that um, IMG reached out to us. They probably do for most kids that go to camp there. and. Um, to be honest, it was something that we just couldn't afford. Um, and COVID was starting to uh, come in and housing prices went crazy. So we actually sold our house, took the profits from that, and put a portion of them aside so she could attend IMG. And do you feel like IMG has helped you become a better golfer? Yes, I believe so, wholeheartedly. The coaches are wonderful, they're flexible, and they understand when you want to take a break. They're not ever pushing you to the point where you are like, oh, you have to keep going, you have to keep going. They're never like that. Every time I see you on the golf course, you're always very happy, you're very chatty, you're very outgoing in a very quiet, 
but almost mm -hmm. introverted sport. I honestly just want to have as much fun as I can possible. I love meeting new players and with acting there are, there are shows where it's like you have to be that sad quiet girl and that's not who I am sometimes. You're not given an option on who you want to be when you're acting but when it comes to golf you can be whoever you want to be and that's what I wanted to do. I want to be myself. I want to be the happy girl who talks to everybody. Like I want to meet new people. I want to see new players and I want to be able to play with new people that I can watch them grow up and become great players. You can be extremely competitive and not have to have that Tiger Woods. And I think you've seen Tiger grow over the years where now he's much more personal uh, than he was when he was younger. And so, and I think he's relating that to his son. So for us, um, I enjoy the fact that she can go up there and shake everybody's hand and she roots for them. But inside, you know, have that killer instinct. Do you think that maybe some of the girls are a little intimidated because they always see you happy? You hit a bad shot, you, you're still smiling. You're <laughs> smiling at the camera. I honestly don't think so because I just, I think they just like to see someone happy. I want to be that person where if they hit a bad shot, I want them to know that even if I'm their competitor, I want them to know that I'm still rooting for them. I want them to feel like someone's still there for them, like they're happy. Even though I might be trying to beat them, even though they might be beating me by five strokes, I want them to feel like they're doing the best and I want them to know they're doing the best because they are a great player. Give me your Oscar speech right now. Who would you thank first? My coach. When she was six, she was about the, at my waist and now she looks me right in the eye. So um, over the years as she's grown, her length has gotten tremendous and her ball striking capability has always been fantastic. But as she started to learn how to putt, her confidence jumped up and uh, she's grown into a wonderful player. And my mom and my dad. I have to say those are the three biggest supporters I have ever had in my life. Where do you want Maya's future in golf to be? Where is she wants it to be? I mean, um, she wants to go, as we call it, go to the next level. And I know she wants to go play college golf. And, um, and she's been really adamant about it. So it tells me, because we always ask her, because we're afraid of burnout. I mean, you've heard her schedule, it is intense. As long as she enjoys it, um, that's the most important part for us. You know, I'm just looking forward to the journey. What about you, Mom? Wherever she wants. Wherever she wants. It, I, Darren couldn't have said it any better. Wherever she, wherever she wants it to take her. I just want her happy. Where do you want golf to take you in the future? I want to be able to go to college for a couple years, but then I want to become a LPGA pro. I want to be able to be the number one in the world, and that's my goal, honestly. I don't. I want to win a couple majors, I want to be able to go into the Olympics, I, I want to be able to do that kind of stuff. You guys have been fully supportive of Maya's dreams. You've sold your house to, to fulfill her dreams. So when she says that she wants to be in the Olympics, that she wants to win majors, do you guys 100% say, go, do it, you've got this, or do you try to temper back those expectations? I tell her to go for it. I tell her to go for it. You know, I tell her that anything is achievable. You can achieve anything that you want to achieve as long as you work for it. You I have work. to work for it. Nothing comes easy. You know, God gave us all each individual talents and um, some are very gifted and um, you know, some aren't. And those that aren't usually have to work really hard to get there. And if she continues to work really hard, and I tell her that, you know, you, you work really hard and anything is achievable. I mean, you Anything's achieved tough. your first goal by winning, you know, worlds. You can achieve anything. It just depends on how hard you want to work and how much dedication you want to put into it. Because in this sport, like a famous Michael Jordan will tell you, there is no more difficult sport to play in this world than golf. I just want to be able to enjoy my life and enjoy playing golf at the same time. If I'd never ever played golf, then I wouldn't have been the person I was today. And you guys will be there next to her 100% of the time. Oh yeah. 100%. There's no doubt about that.